Now, the last important thing I want to show you about your lathe chuck is how to remove and install the jaws and get them in there in the most accurate position. Okay. We'll come in here, and this is a scrolling chuck. When you turn the chuck key, all three jaws move and come out at the same time. So we want to bring these all the way out of here. Okay, now that we've got all these loose, we can pull them right out of the chuck, just like that. Now, your jaws are supposed to be numbered inside. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. The way to determine which jaw is which is to line them up, just like this. Okay, this is the part that goes in first. You notice this, this teeth is closest to the inside. This is the next one. This one is farthest away from the inside. So this is jaw number one jaw number two, and jaw number three. Now we're going to watch the scroll plate inside the chuck here. When I turn this, that whole plate turns, and you watch the, for the very end of that thread. Ah, oh, there it is right there. If you look close, you can see the end of that thread. So let's back it up until the end of that thread just disappears. Now we're going to take our jaw number one, Put that in the chuck and turn it about one turn. Make sure that it's in there nice and snug. Okay? Now you notice the plate was turning this way. So we want to turn our chuck that way and we want to go to the next jaw, which is right here. Again, we're going to watch for the end of that little scroll plate. There it is. You see it right there? Let's back it up. Take jaw number two. Put it in, okay. turn it about one turn, make sure it's in there tight, and oh, yeah, we've got to turn it back the opposite direction to get to number three. But number three is right here, we're going to do the same thing, turn that scroll plate slowly, ah, there's the end again, back it up, slip that jaw in. Okay. Now when we turn this all the way in, all three jaws will meet in the very center. Okay. Now that we have the jaws back into the chuck, you notice I've installed a little piece of material in here and I'll snug it down a little bit. Put your dial indicator on the bed, bring it up here and rotate your chuck because just like the chuck mount, there's three different positions you could have had these jaws in check each one of those positions. In other words, put your dial indicator on here, rotate it, see how, what the run out is. Take your jaws out, just move one notch, put them back in. When you find the position that is the best, that gives you the best accuracy, take a little punch and put a punch mark on the jaw, just like that. And let's put another punch mark here on the chuck. Now, anytime you take the jaws out, when you put them back in, make sure that these are lined up and you've got the most accurate setup for your chuck. Now you've learned how to get your lathe chuck on and off, how to set it up for the most accurate possible working. Your machine should be a very accurate and precise piece of equipment for you now. I want to thank you for coming into the Smithy shop and watching this video. I hope it's been educational and informative for you. Keep an eye out for our other videos that will be coming out soon. So this is Dave saying goodbye from the Smithy shop. Until next time.